Newton's gravitational force. Will the velocity of a stone thrown vertically upward remain constant or will it change with time? How will it change? Why doesn't the stone move up all the time? Why does it fall down after reaching a certain height? What does its maximum height depend on? The Earth attracts every object near it towards itself because of the gravitational force. The center of mass of the Earth is situated at its center, so the gravitational force on any object due to the Earth is always directed towards the center of the Earth. Because of this force, an object falls vertically downwards on the Earth. Similarly, when we throw a stone vertically upwards, this force tries to pull it down and reduces its velocity. Due to this constant downwards pull, the velocity becomes zero after a while. The pull continues to be exerted and the stone starts moving vertically downwards towards the center of the earth under its influence. Use your brain power. According to Newton's law of gravitation, every object attracts every other object. Thus, if the earth attracts an apple towards itself, the apple also attracts the earth towards itself with the same force. Why then does the apple fall towards the earth? But the earth does not move towards the apple. Answer The gravitational force due to the earth also acts on the moon because of which it revolves around the earth. Similar situation exists for artificial satellites orbiting the earth. The moon and the artificial satellites orbit the earth. The earth attracts them towards itself, but unlike the falling apples, they do not fall on the earth. Why? This is because of the velocity of the moon and the satellites along their orbits. If this velocity was not there, they would have fallen on the earth. 